Football Fun Fact. Did you know that although American football was invented in the late 1800s, football helmets weren't mandatory until 1939? Now you know. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, I'm Mr. Mayberry. Welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's a football week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that have to do with American football. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a football helmet. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, in the middle of the paper I'm going to start by drawing a light circle. This is going to be an older style football helmet. More of a traditional traditional style. So this is the, the basic shape for the outside. Now we're going to be changing this as we go along and that's why you want to start off a little bit lighter. Next I want to go ahead and draw I'm going to start down here and draw a curve where there's an opening to, for the face and then it curves around like this and up to this side right here. Okay, back here I want to make this slant out and it's going to be lower than what I have for the edge of the circle here. Go back here and then connect to what we have already. And then on this side, on the right side here, it's going to go in in a little from the line that we've already had drawn. So it's going to go in just a little ways. Okay, now on the inside, I'm going to start on this right edge. I'm going to go in from the edge just a bit and then I'm going to curve this line out here. It's going to come out to where we have the edge of the circle. Going to curve around very similar to what we have on this side and it's going to curve up and back like that okay then there's a mouth guard that goes around the front I'm going to start off on this side of the helmet right here I'm just going to kind of block this in first and then I'll go back and make the details. So it's going to go slant down here. Goes around. And then it's going to kind of curve around and go back to this side of the helmet like that. Okay, and then the lower portion is going to start right about here and curve down. And it's going to make kind of the same curve that we have above around like this. I'm going to stop right about there for now. Okay, and to complete this part, I'm going to go above here. It's going to start kind of narrow, kind of close together. Right here, I'm going to come back the other way. It's going to wrap around, get a little bit larger. And it's going to end up right about here. So I'm going to start actually back this other way and connect. Like this. This is the top part this mouth guard. Okay, I raced inside of that. And then I'm going to make these lines just a little darker.
Okay, and this line is going to curve around. It's going to make a similar curve to what I have here. And it's going to connect actually on the top part right here where this one is. It's going to connect there. So I'm going to go backwards, start here, and then curve around like this. Okay, I'm going to come back here and erase where this overlaps the lower part of the helmet. Start right about here. Curve around. And then go back behind here like that. Okay, there's some upright pieces here. They kind of hold these two and also separate them at the same time. I'm going to go two lines that are vertical right here. It goes underneath this part and then it goes above this. It's going to actually, we're going to see a little bit of a curve here at the bottom like that. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Now to make it easier I'm just going to erase this inside curve just a little make my two vertical lines here and a curve underneath just like that actually I think I should move this over just a little bit so I'm going to use that line that I had on the right and then make another line to the right of that so I'm moving it over just one space and I like how that looks a little better so you may have to make some adjustments to get it to where you want it to be okay I wanna on this part right here I'm gonna make two circles where there are places you can snap on a chin guard or a chin strap that would go around and help hold the helmet on. But I'm not going to be drawing that part, but that's where they would attach. So the chin strap would attach. So that's what that is. Okay, I'm going to go back over these lines here, just outline this a little darker. Everything's in place in the right place. Okay, and then next we're going to finish off the helmet. Okay, right here there's a piece of trim here around the, the inside of the opening. So I'm going to make a curve on the outside here. Follow this line around. I'm making it a little darker. And then I get down here, I'm going to make a line that curves out past the end there, too. And then I'm going to draw the second line right above it and follow that all the way around. Okay, I think I've made this go too far back. So I'm going to make this slant in just a little bit and redraw that section. Okay, and then up here on the top, I'm going to have a stripe down the center of the helmet. So I'm going to start right about here and make a line that curves around and connects right about in there. And then another line right next to it makes the same curve. It's going to go further back here like that. You may have to make some adjustments on this till you get it to where it looks just right. After it's where you want it to be then you make those lines darker. Also draw the edge top edge of the helmet darker all the way around
Okay, there's a hole right here to allow the person who wears the helmet to be able to hear. Ammo shade in, inside of that. And you'll see the opening on the other side. Actually, before we do that, there's a pad here in this corner. on the inside of the helmet, so there's a pad. And then just above that is going to be the opening on the other side. Okay, I'm going to shade inside the helmet. I can use the side of the pencil and just shade because the way it hangs over everything here there is a bit of a shadow inside a little darker towards the top okay go ahead and clean up your drawing erase any lines that you don't need add the colors of your favorite football team and if you have you could put their logo or design for their team on the side or a number for that particular player. And this is our drawing for today, a football helmet. Well, now that you know how to draw a football helmet, take some time and think of other helmets that you could draw. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. That's beautiful. And remember, football helmet is mandatory. Black tie is optional. Mm -hmm.